What's up guys? If you didn't already know, I'm Devin from Dr. Garage. So I made a video earlier uh, that you may have already saw. I uploaded it last night. Somebody uh, let me know that I missed something. So I'm redoing this beams cooling system stuff. So if you're looking at doing a beam swap, I figured uh, I wanted to show everybody how to do the swap and the issues that, that it has. And so yeah, here's uh, beams cooling system issues. Take two. So this is the beams out of my 8.6 drift car. I'm in the middle of doing a supercharger, but I wanted to show you guys some of the issues and other things that happen with the beams. So first thing, uh, cooling system issues. We've got this coolant pipe right here. Uh, comes off the thermostat housing. You can see I've got all this putty junk on it here. I tried to use some water weld. Um, what ends up happening is when people do a swap, they go to loosen these bolts and it actually splits or cracks the coolant pipe like right here, or there used to be another bracket right here. Uh, and so you get a coolant leak and it doesn't always develop right away. Sometimes it happens later. Uh, I think also another thing that affects it is when you use like stiffer motor mounts, the noise and vibration um, cause that to crack. So here's how you fix it. This coolant pipe that's the thermostat housing here, right? It goes back here. Underneath this heat shield is a hose for the oil cooler, oil warmer, whatever you want to call it. So it goes to that. And it comes around the back here. Goes to this, which goes to the heater core. And then it also comes around this side. These pipes, which come up to the front to the throttle body thermostat, which is dangling right down here, all right? You got that one and then the other hoses right there, all right? So that's where this coolant pipe goes to. So when you get, you know, when you get it, when it leaks, when this cracks eventually, there's a couple things you can do. You can weld it shut or you can weld the crack, right? That can be kind of hard. You can try and use putty and, and paste and stuff like I did. Um, some people, what they do is they'll actually cut it over here and over here and then they'll run uh, a silicone hose or a, a heater hose right along here and then they'll use a t-fitting for the um oil cooler oil warmer whatever or what i'm probably going to do because mine's leaking over here the oil warmer fitting is like right here i'm just going to cut it back here and put a plug on it um there's a couple of reinforced plugs that are available that I found from HPS and wait for them to come back in stock, right? So then what I'll have to do then is I'll, this is the other heater one, whatever, I'm gonna put the plug down here and then <clears throat> I can get rid of all that junk and plug up the throttle body thermostat. Yeah, there's kind of a, a misunderstanding about the throttle body thermostat. It's not actually meant to adjust idle speed like it is in the 4AG. Um, I put a video on Facebook about this, but pretty much all it's there for is to defrost the throttle body because the beams is driven by wire, so it controls throttle speed based on uh, the throttle motor. It doesn't need anything um, like a, a, a thermostat to adjust idle speed. It's just there to de defrost the throttle body. That's all. So if you warm in, if you live in warmer climates, you can delete that. So yeah. Anyway, remember. This coolant pipe cracks here or here, and you can cut it and plug it and delete all the other lines, or you can weld it back together, or you can just not touch those bolts at all, and it shouldn't crack or leak on you. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if you watched the first video and I missed the oil cooler bit. Uh, now you've got this updated video.